What's up guys, gals, and non-binary pals? Welcome back to Art by Flam. Today we are going to take a shot at the ballpoint pen challenge. Now first things you notice is that's not an ordinary ballpoint pen, that's a sonic screwdriver. So ballpoint pens are a little scarce in my house and um, I bought some but they weren't great <laughs> um, for the initial sketching of this piece. They were really dark and heavy and had very little gradients and um, I have a lot of ballpoint pens in my like uh, in my pencil case that I used for outlining, uh, redoing top line art for color pencil sketches, but they had no tonal range essentially. They were not very good at blending and so this sonic screwdriver pen is kind of old and it can go pretty light and pretty dark. I, I do bring in another pen later on um, to sort of touch up and add a thicker layer of line art to sort of make it pop over the construction lines. So I'm going to be real honest with you guys. I wanted to do this challenge despite knowing that I am absolute garbage with ballpoint pens. I don't know what it is. I just, something about them just doesn't click with me. I can't, I can't use them to their fullest potential essentially. Like I have, I've had friends in high school and who still do art today who are just amazing with ballpoint pens. And there are artists out there who are amazing with ballpoint pens. They can get all, all these variations of colors and lines and they can do gradients and all sorts of amazing things with ballpoint pens, but I am just not one of those people. I don't know what it is. There's like a mental block there. I'm sure if I actually sat down and forced myself to use ballpoint pens for a while, I could get the hang of it. But as for just being pretty okay with them, I don't feel like I am. And so that's one of the reasons I wanted to do um, this particular challenge is to show you guys that, you know, you don't have to be good with something to challenge yourself with it. I mean, just using it in general as a challenge, you could definitely translate that into a YouTube video or use it again to challenge yourself. And I'm not like 100% perfectly satisfied with this picture. Um, it could definitely be better. I'm a really, really messy sketcher. There are construction lines everywhere. There's just erasing and erasing and more erasing. I have, like I said, construction lines and shapes and, you know, tweaking facial expressions. So that's one of the reasons ballpoint pen is hard for me is I can't depend on all of those construction lines and shapes that I've taught myself to sort of keep people looking like people and not weird disjointed bodies, which they probably look like that anyway, but it seems even more so with um, when I'm sketching with pen. So you'll see faint construction lines here and there, but I try to keep them as light as humanly possible. Um, this particular girl is nobody in particular. She's just somebody I sketched uh, for this piece. Um, and as a bonus, this footage isn't sped up that much. Um, I didn't, it didn't take me too long to crank out this piece, so it's not sped up too much. Um, so this is a close approximation of how fast I did this piece. Like, I think the original footage was like 17 minutes or something, so it was about a 20 minute doodle or so, because I, I've been trying off and on to get a feel, maybe that's cheating, uh, but I, uh, I did try several times to sketch in ball, in different ballpoint pens at work and stuff, and it just... You know, I thought I had a good grip on it and it just, I don't know, it wasn't coming together. And so I just like, you know what, I want to make this video, I want to do this, so I'm just going to sit down and do it. And that's what I did. Um, here I'm going back over with a different ballpoint pen to try and make, because it can get darker than the sonic screwdriver pen I was using, uh, it, to kind of make this line art pop a bit more. So that your eye is more drawn to the lines. Um, instead that you're, that I want you to see and not the lines I don't want you to see, like the construction lines on the face and the torso there. So I'm just going back over with a slightly darker pen to sort of make it pop. Um, I do go in later and attempt to do some shading. I'm not, like I said, not 100% happy with this piece, but I am proud of myself for at least giving it a shot. Because when I first saw this challenge going around, I was like, ah, I'm rubbish with pens, I'm not going to do it. But then I was like, you know what, no, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do this challenge, and even if it comes out bad, I'm going to produce content of some kind with it. And I don't know, it was just kind of a big sort of, you can do this, Danny, do whatever it takes <laughs> kind of thing, I guess. But yeah, just going back through, darkening those lines. Um, there's plenty of stuff wrong with this picture. I feel like the anatomy is all wonky and her hands are definitely weird and 
arms are definitely not the same size, but if you pay attention to the overall piece, it's not awful, considering what I usually do with ballpoint pens, which is I scribble faces. I don't ever really draw bodies when I have a ballpoint pen. I just scribble nonsense, and usually when I'm on the phone at work or even at home, just making those big adult phone calls, I'll just have a ballpoint pen. And it also kind of shows that you don't really need any kind of fancy equipment to do art. Um, part of this challenge, I think, is to show that you can, in fact, just a ballpoint pen. Like, I personally don't like to use ballpoint pens, but if a ballpoint pen is all I had, I would definitely be using it to make art because for one, I love to make art. And for two, I'm not gonna let something as simple as not having a pencil stop me from making art. I'll draw with a stick and sand if I gotta. Um, one of my favorite questions is what would you bring to a desert? What's one item you would bring to a desert island that a lot of artists is like, oh, I'll bring my sketchbooks. Like, what are you gonna draw with? Charcoal? I mean, I guess you could. But even if I couldn't bring that, I'd just be drawing a stick in the sand. <laughs> That's what I'd be doing. So I'm going back in here now and trying to add some shading in um, with this ballpoint, with the, the, the other ballpoint pen. Like I said, this pen's fairly old. I've had it for four or five years now. Um, I'm kind of out of my Doctor Who phase, so it was definitely a product of its time. But I'm just going back in now and trying to shade. I, I gave some... Uh, tints to her shirt and her belt to kind of separate them and make the whole outfit just seem uh, I don't know put together <laughs> a bit like to separate the pants from the shirt kind of thing and so I'm just going in now and um, adding some shading and this I think I feel like I wish I wouldn't have done the way I did it like I, in some areas, I've just added like slight like cross hatching shading, and then in some areas, I've like kind of done little circles just to sort of soften it out. And it didn't work 100% great. Um, but again, like I said, the part, whole point of this was to challenge myself and sort of think differently. And I depend a lot on blending of my materials, be it, you know, it's, which is especially weird because I don't do a lot of blended art um, digitally, but with my traditional medias, I depend a lot on the blending of my materials to sort of help me smooth out my shading, and that's not something I could 100% do with this ballpoint pen, and so it kind of threw me for a loop as I tried different techniques of shading in different areas, and it kind of looks disjointed and kind of messy, which, again, this whole thing was about pushing my boundaries and sort of getting me out of my comfort zone and drawing and shading in ways that I wouldn't have before. Which is not bad. Like I said, regardless of how this piece came out, I was going to post this video. And just want to show you guys that sometimes challenges just don't work out. <laughs> um, you could try them three or four times and they won't work out every time and that's okay. Uh, it's all a part of the growing process. It's all a part of the your art journey, as I've heard it called. To so just try new things and, and, you know, put them out there and show that, hey, not every artist is perfect. Not every piece has to be perfect for it to be on YouTube or DeviantArt or Tumblr or wherever you post it. Because I think one of my fa some of my favorite pieces are the pieces that just don't work out. It kind of shows that artists are still human. They're not these art machines that just crank out perfect pieces all the time. We mess up sometimes. Some of them aren't that great. And it's it's nice to remember that. So we're moving on into the final piece here. I'll give you a little preview and we'll shift into the really final one here in just a second. There she is. If you like what you see, don't forget to click that like button. Don't forget to just subscribe. And if you have any ideas for challenges you want to see me do, definitely leave those in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye.